The Kiwanis Emergency Youth Shelter is a safe, supportive home for youth at risk. But the building is old with a deteriorating foundation, and the contractor who's taken it on has a very personal reason for doing so. And then if we see the separation in the foundations, there's a large fracture crack over here. Flintstones construction owner Mike De Palma is assessing the crumbling foundation of this early 1900s home. This area is starting to spald. A home that supports youth at risk in Greater Victoria. This is the Kiwanis Emergency Youth Shelter. It's a 10-bed shelter for youth who are 13 to 18. And it's that kind of first step maybe when a youth doesn't have a place to go. The shelter offers assistance 24-7. Youth have a safe place to sleep, home-cooked food, chores to perform, and care workers to support and listen. When there's been a family breakdown, um, maybe they need a safe place to come to while things get sorted out, all the way through to our youth who are homeless in the community. It's just a fantastic experience to be able to provide some way uh, a little bit in their life to, to give them help when they need it. The Kiwanis Club of Victoria owns the building. Volunteers do what work they can to maintain it. It's in desperate need of some help. But for a job like this, they need to call in the pros. It's a fairly substantial project and Kiwanis just doesn't have that kind of money. But Kiwanis learned of the Victoria Foundation's Community Grants Program. And so we applied and we got it. They, they awarded it to us and they recognized the value of the program in the community. And talk about full circle. This was uh, where the boys stayed, uh, up here in the bunk beds. This home sheltered Mike De Palma many times. When I was about 14 years old, uh, my home arrangements weren't uh, ideal and it wasn't a, a safe place to be for me. And uh, I didn't have anywhere else to go. Uh, and a friend of mine had told me about Kiwanis. He's forever grateful. In a place where you're fragile and vulnerable and you don't know where to go or what to do, to have a support system that you can come to where there are professionals in this area to get the food in your stomach and give you that peace of mind knowing that you have a place to stay. I was so happy to come over here and, you know, reignite this, this spark that was a big part of my life. It's hard for Mike to talk about where he might be now without Kiwanis. Unfortunately, when I think a lot of my peers and friends that I had from that time, uh, many of them are no longer here anymore. And uh, so I often think about that, yes. All this soil will be excavated. And the fact that we can help build a, a, a stronger foundation that uh, hopefully can support youth for the next 100 years, I'm very proud to be part of that. Giving back to a home that gave him so much. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.